The life of horses and hounds don't just stop because of coronavirus. Hunt staff all over the UK have been coming up with creative ways to keep their charges exercised, themselves fit, their puppies bred. This lot are from pup dates posted on Facebook by the Beaver in Leicestershire, and even funds raised for health charities. Here are the Wollaston Bassets pretending to be national hunt qualifiers. And here's Ledbury Huntmaster David Redvers on his hunt's own finances and how they have coped. Day-to-day day wise, it's coping admirably. Mark and his team at the kennels, um, you know, where you're working with livestock, nothing really changes. You take more precautions, you, there are obviously strict protocols you have to enforce and abide by to ensure that you can keep seeing farmers and taking fallen stock and so on and so forth. But um, the biggest change for us really this year has been a bit of a, uh, an anisarebalist in that we've had, we started off with the, 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 the year with the, the wettest winter on record, the wettest February on record, which is, which is when we had to stop a full month early. Um, and February historically is one of the months where we have some of the, you know, the best visitors days. And for a fundraising point of view, it's a, it's a nightmare. I mean, normally during the summer, we'd be having puppy shows, hunt auctions, we'd be having um, farmers' suppers, hunt ball, yeah. hunt ball, all those sort of things that, that really bind, not only do they bind the, the sort of social fabric of the hunt together uh, and the local community, but they also are our biggest fundraisers. On the subject of local landowner relations, difficult during lockdown, Ledbury stud groom Victoria Hallis has been on a sponsored bike ride past farmers and landowners in the hunt's country. It's been a great way to reconnect. Uh, notify people of like our roots so our farmers could great. visit and say hi as we went past yeah, at the end lovely. of the drive. Helped relieve a bit of isolation for some of the farmers, I bet, just seeing you guys at the end of the drive. Yeah, put a smile on people's faces, yeah. especially when we rode past with the bright red faces and sweating. <laughs> <laughs> That's four-year-old Martha at Victoria's feet. She's in charge of a litter of terrier puppies. And once she's sorted out which animal does what, it looks like she has a promising future in the field. There's no better way of social distancing than being on a horse. Hunting when we, when we get going will be from a, from a practical Covid point of view, it'll be entirely feasible. I can't see any problem with it whatsoever. People just have to be sensible. Not turn in the right.